During the past hundred years or so, while much of the world was marching forward, the Congo has been retreating, back into the darkness of a bygone era. After such a brutal history, it is to be expected that violence breeds violence, and I can't help but feel that the people here must harbour feelings of antipathy towards outsiders. My sudden appearance last night has surprised many of the villagers. But their main concern this morning is the chief's brother, who failed to return from a fishing trip last night. There are two main methods of fishing here, drift nets and long lines equipped with multiple hooks. Both techniques are fraught with danger, and the chief takes me to meet fishermen to find out more. In my experience, this is not only the best way to learn about the fish, but you also get to hear stories that normally never make it to the outside world. At the first fishing settlement we stop at, I meet Ngomba, who tells me about his friend who was dragged from his boat to his death. The details of the story appear to be that a fisherman, fairly local to here, went out one morning uh, as usual to, to check his lines and he didn't come back. What happened was that two days later, somebody found his body and he had one of his hooks through his shirt and actually into the flesh of his arm. From the situation of the man's body and the line, they were just able to deduce that he must have been pulling in the line and then just somehow got the hook caught in him. And he was pulled over the side. On the same line, on another hook, was a large catfish. The size of the catfish, well, you know, he, he indicated that. Now, around here, that isn't the, the length of the fish. That is actually the, the, the width of the head. So we're talking a fish well over 100 pounds. I wonder what the chief thinks about my mission to catch a monster catfish, especially in the light of this incident and the disappearance of his brother. I'm not going to put my hands in the mouth there. There's some about this fish is that it's still alive. Catfish tend to stay alive for a long time out of water.